Pennsylvania, also a member of the Senate Banking uh, Committee, uh, the Committee on Housing and Urban Affairs as well. Senator, good to have you here. Thank you, David. Are you prepared to vote for this? And if you are, um, why? Well, no, not yet, because I have not seen the details. But I was hopeful today uh, after uh, last, if you, if you had asked me last night, I would have said we had a long, long way to go. Today, it was uh, a lot of optimism, a lot of momentum, and an agreement on principles, uh, some basic principles that I've been insisting on with regard to uh, more help for home ownership to keep people in their homes, uh, more efforts to uh, provide oversight. The executive compensation uh, uh, issue was, was uh, very important to me and so many others. It seemed today, as of, as of about 1.30 1 or 2 o'clock, that there was an agreement, at least in principles, on at least three or four major items, and that was a lot uh, the result of a lot of hard work by Chairman Dodd, uh, Chairman right. Frank, and, and Democrats and Republicans. Uh, and, and now it seems that uh, some Republicans, and this is just a, a few, and apparently led by John McCain, have, have, have uh, taken this in a different direction. But we have to keep uh, working you mentioned you mentioned John McCain, uh, NBC News, uh, Brian Williams has just interviewed Senator McCain following his meeting at the White House this afternoon. Let's listen to a portion of that. And doing what I did by coming back to Washington, getting with my colleagues, talking, uh, discussing, and coming up with, I hope, consensus and sufficient bipartisan bicameral support is what I think I need to do for the country. And if that hurts me politically, I'll gladly take the, I'll gladly take the penalty. Senator, what impact is Senator McCain having? You alluded to it just a moment ago. Well, I don't think we're, we're sure yet, but all I know is that uh, there was a lot of consensus. Two houses, two parties uh, in the early afternoon. The only thing that changed between early afternoon and late in the evening was John McCain was moving around Capitol Hill. Uh, and I think that for him to, to make the assertion that somehow uh, Democrats and Republicans who have been meeting for days now, for, for more than a week, uh, we had meetings last Friday with the Republicans and Democrats in the Banking Committee that far back. For him to say now that uh, somehow we need him to bring about consensus, I think that uh, what transpired this afternoon right, but, but, but Senator, you're saying that. two different things. You're saying two different things. On the one hand, you're saying he's got no impact on the process. On the other hand, you're saying he's actually no. leading an effort on, on the part of some Republicans no. and conservatives in opposition to this. I think is, it's that, is that I what think, you understand? It? I think it's entirely possible, based upon what transpired this afternoon, that a consensus w was, uh, uh, which had been arrived at between Democrats and Republicans in the House and the Senate, uh, started to be threatened by by what uh, Senator McCain was doing. I think it's up to 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 him now and to his Republican colleagues who seem to be conflicting with their own party uh, to to uh, to try to put this back on track. Because right now, the concern that I have and a lot of people have is not just that everyone on Capitol Hill get along. That's secondary. What I'm concerned about. Uh, are small businesses and, and businesses and families who can't have access to credit to to uh, buy an automobile to to make payroll in a small business uh, to to send their kids to college we're worried about credit and and uh, credit at the at the family level at the community level 